all right guys welcome back to another video i've been getting this request a lot to do a video on my trout tackle so you guys know me i am still getting used to san diego trout fishing so i'm not a pro i know just enough to catch trout so this is maybe good for beginners maybe some stuff guys already know might maybe learn something from it but i'm just speaking from my opinion my experience and what i know so far and what i've been using let's get started first things first we're going to start out with my tackle box or my tackle tray with all my trout gear and minor pan fish stuff and etc so let's start off with this thing right here this plano two tier 3700 size tray so starting off what plastics do i use and how do i use it so on the top tray i have all my soft plastics and you know some crane baits and stuff that i use and just don't want to put them back where they belong just in case of rust but top tray is focused on soft plastics starting from right to left we start with the power bait atomic teasers mini jigs slash tube jigs teasers etc so what i use the most is not specifically this one but this is the power bait atomic teaser these come in a pack of three they're called teasers because of what i noticed in a separate packaging it comes with a little worm tail right there so i use these guys i always have a variety of colors of teasers and tube jigs etc i have like the sartreuse green pepper for this guy it's a nice bait i've uh, got a couple bites with these guys it's always like i said it's always good to have a variety of different colors in your tackle box i mean i want to get more colors but as of right now we'll see how the season takes me the other one i have is sartreuse silver atomic teaser by power bait let's see what focus is and the other atomic teaser i have is i think a pearl orange tail this works pretty well too and for atomic tubes i have is that i have the most of as you can see right here it's piled up that always is always my go-to is the grasshopper aka the dookie color so this color specifically and this tube specifically the power bait atomic tube has been killing it for me and you know santee lakes and lake dixon or dixon lake so i've been limiting out with specifically this color right here but as the day goes by the stock days go by trout is very very picky they tend to change change up on what they really want and you know all the other good stuff so my next one i have is my other favorite i forget the name of this one i think it's natural i also call it the dookie color oh, i got some green stuff on me right there also atomic tube power bait good bait must have I need to re-up on that because I gave a lot away when uh, I did that Santee video. It's a little tag in on that. Oh, uh, also, I haven't thrown these yet. I grabbed a couple packs of these. Also, Atomic Teasers. It's uh, pink, red, pearl, silver flake. I don't even know the color it is. It just looks sick. But eventually, I think something will bite this. I mean, come on. Don't that look good? I'd eat it. Then moving on to crappie magnets slash trout magnets i haven't used them yet at all well i haven't used them at all to be honest with you guys because the mini jig bite has been pretty hot and pretty solid for me but it's always good to have variety in your box so these are the trout magnet i'm not sure what exactly they're called but the trout magnets this color specifically right here is uh, white sartreuse haven't used it yet but i'm pretty sure to get bit a lot of people believe in them I have them in different colors. I have a smaller size, an orange and blue sartreuse, a little bit bigger compared to this size. Let's put them side by side right there. I'm doing this video in my garage, so bear with the sound. Got different colors, different varieties, black sartreuse, pink sartreuse. I don't know, man, trout's picky. You gotta always switch it up constantly to, to you know, figure them out. And for power worms, I use the most is the orange peel power worm. It comes in a in a pack a little small pack i'll show you guys in a bit small pack comes in a long strand you just snip off uh obviously the thin end right here just like that boom got yourself a trout worm 
I got in multiple colors. I got an orange. I got some mice tails right here. Sartreuse power worms. White power worms. Sartreuse. Well, someone threw this in my box. It's always good to have variety. That's all my worms are here. I'm probably going to switch it up down the line once I get more stuff. But as of right now, I'm, I think I'm pretty set for trout fishing this year or this season. I got pink power worms. You can drop shot with them. You can cast Carolina rig and wait with them. I've seen multiple ways you can fish the power worm. Same thing with mini jig. You can bobber fish them. You can bobber fish anything here. Really, as long as you can get it out there and sink just enough with enough cadence in the sink to get them to bite. So over here, I got some power bait ripple shad, some little two inch ones. I haven't thrown them yet. Just had them sitting around for a couple of years and decided to throw them in my trout, crappie, panfish, whatever jig box, tackle box this is. I forget what these guys are called. They get bit from what I was told. Even bass bites this, but I'm focusing on trout and panfish. I'm pretty sure crappie will bite this. Trout will bite this. I'm going to keep moving down. I have it in multiple colors. I have it in fire tiger, pearl white, and shad imitation. Three different colors right there. It's always good to stay organized and stay, you know, stocked up because sometimes if the bite gets super hot on a certain jig or I'm ready to get out to Santee Lakes or Lake Dixon, Jennings or wherever the trout stocked or where they're, wherever they're biting, I like to have more than five of each jig because you never know you're going to break off and you never know you want to put your buddy on some fish. So it's always good to have variety. So here's some crappie magnet, some curly tail minnow type bait. Got these a long, long, long time ago, and I'm finally putting them to use in these in my tray right here. I got a little mini shad minnow. You know, it looks like a jerk shad, or we call it a little fluke right here. It's like a violet, purple, black pepper. Got the green sartreuse, blue sartreuse, glitter. I, I honestly don't even know the, color, the names of these. The color names of this, I'm just going by what I know off the top of my head. Like a blue sartreuse curly tail minnow. These are actually all this right here. One, two, three, four. Everything down right here, these minnows. They're all crappie magnets, but I'm pretty sure trout will bite them too. Because I see guys using, you know, tadpole little jigs. And they get bit. So I'm pretty sure, like I said, good to have variety. So that's what I got on the top. Over here I got the little tiny, I believe these are 164th ounce trout magnet jig heads or little lead heads it's kind of, i heard it was kind of hard to find these you can order bulk online but you know what i did is walmart has a simple pack i'll show you guys as i go on right now that comes with two or three of the plastics one rig one extra lead head and like i said one is rigged and a couple plastics in there move along to the bottom let's try to make this video as simple as possible oh yeah again like like i said it's good to have all kinds of different colors there's probably some good colors i'm missing like between these two right here big difference obviously this is a little bit smaller this is the atomic teaser and this is the atomic tube the tube the atomic tube comes in a pack i believe of six or seven or five these come in a pack of three or four these have the power worm attached to it hence the name teaser this one doesn't this one is a lot lighter than this one so you can you have a better chance of casting this one a bit further than this guy all right so moving along to the bottom this is where the terminal tackle and the hard beats are for panfish trout fishing so here's the bottom tray right here i have let's start from the top let's start from the terminal side then i move over to the bait side i have little i forget the brand of them little jigs these are i believe one eighth ounce or one sixteen ounce I'm gonna say one eighth, but I haven't used them yet, but you can always put power worm on here, those crappie jigs on here, those trout jigs on here, whatever you want. As long as it fits, you can get it out there. I got some bobber stops for little, I don't know why I'm using little tiny, puny little, little tiny swivel. So I use the bobber stoppers for that. I got some treble hooks for power bait fishing, but I got, these are the gamakatsus. Then I got some basic uh, eagle claw trebles. It's always good to have some. Little tiny guys, but they work. Moving down right here, I got some, I believe these are panther martins. No, these are the rooster tails. These pretty much work for anything in freshwater. I believe largemouth bites them. It's good to have some of those in your tackle tray. I have a variety of colors and different 
weight sizes. I believe this is 116, 18, and something something. 316. I have like Fire Tiger, White, Sartreuse, etc. Then I got little tiny bait hooks. I believe this is size 8 bait holder hook. Pretty really cheap package from Walmart. You can get them in a big, big bulk for about, I believe, five bucks, five, eight bucks for like a hundred of them. Not sure. I think it's 150 of them. But they work. I use them drop shotting the power worms. I can rig, you know, the trout magnets on it. Anything really. I can put a power bait on it if I don't want a power bait dough, the clay dough, or whatever you guys want to call that, on it instead of a treble if you just want to use a single hook. But I've caught a couple of trout using these hooks. And I got one eighth ounce bullet weight for Carolina rigs, whatever else. I don't know. You can use it for any kind of rig you want. Also have it one eighth ounce in. Uh, I don't know why it looks so different. It's two different brands of one eighth ounce. I just grabbed them anyways. Maybe profile, maybe the sound. But I use them both. Haven't done me dirty or done me wrong or anything like that yet. Cast masters. Cast masters are a must have in your tackle tray. Well, this one the hook broke. But you, I get them in 124th ounce, 1 8 ounce, and quarter ounce. Those are the perfect sizes for trout fishing here in San Diego. I usually go for the gold. Guys use silver, guys use blue, trout pattern, fire tiger. But I've been having my luck on the gold cast master, the OG. Then you got the Thomas Buoyant. Forget the size of this. It's the smallest size they had at the store, so I got some of these in that pattern. I don't know what the pattern's called, red, gold, black dots, shiny spoon, but they work. I've seen my buddies limit out on trout with these. The Panther Martins, I got a whole, oh, dang, they're all tangled up, but cool spin jigs, good for trout, crappie, whatever else, like shiny stuff down there. I mean, I like shiny stuff. If I was a fish, I eat this. I got multiple colors, I got the fire tiger, green, trout black and red for some reason they like black red and gold a lot this year so far i've known where i've fished I these bobbers don't belong there so back up split shots always got a you know little tiny split shot different sizes variety size 7 size bb size 3 i or 3 slash 0 1 and 12 ounce split shot always get out split shots if you guys don't want to retie you know your egg weights on Oop. increase their sink rate and increase your castability it's always good to have split shots in here i got some magnet lures fin spin jig heads had these for a long time and i'm finally throwing them in my box i hear they're really good for trout really good for crappie but they look pretty dope can't really find them anywhere here in san diego i got lucky and i grabbed whatever that was left these are 20 pounds right there and let's move along to hard baits for well, hard baits, I have the Arky crank baits. These are about two bucks each at Walmart. I've seen my buddy kill it. So Kyle, if you're watching this, this is because of you. I got the gold and black crank bait, the silver and black with the white do or black dot. I mean, crank bait, shad imitation, I believe. I got two of each because we fish light line and we tend to lose our baits easily if we're not careful. So next over is. The Yoziri Pins Minnow. I've used these at the Trout Derby. I had multiple followers. I mean, a lot of followers. I got the Trout Pattern. I got the, I don't even know what the hell that is. This one is like black and silver and gold and silver. And I got a smaller one. These are three inch Pins Minnow. This is a two inch Pins Minnow. Check out that size. I forget the name of these jerk baits, but you can also get them. There. I think they're like a buck or two bucks each. Buddy told me to stock up on them just in case they start biting. Oh, these little tiny. These uh, deep diving jerk baits. I think they live dive about three to five feet, depending on how you're cranking it and whatever else, you know, however the hell you're fishing it. But I haven't caught anything with them yet because I haven't thrown them yet. But I hear they work very well. Then over here, I got three different colors of the Yoziri snap beans. I hear many, many, many good things about these baits. And I got them in three different colors. I got the trout, the blue silver, and the black and silver. I don't know, they look so, don't they look cute? Look at that. I don't even want to throw you. Pretty sure 
to get bit. So I have a couple of those. You don't belong here. Moving on to the Rapala. Dude, I don't even know what model these are, but I just grabbed a handful at Walmart. And I was there with my buddy. He's like, yeah, get these. Have them in your bag just in case the bite turns on for jerk baits. You have them. I got a jointed fire tiger. I got the small sinking fire tiger. Medium sized fire tiger. A tiny trout pattern. Two trout patterns. I believe one is sinking, one is floating. It's these guys right here. Rapala, Rapala. I'm going to say Rapala and Rapala because I don't know if I'm going to offend anyone as pronouncing it differently. So far, right there, guys, is... My panfish, trout, crappie, bluegill, tackle box, or tray. That sums up that. Let's move along to how the packages look and where you can get them and help you, you know, help you uh, new guys like me get onto some stock trout out here in San Diego or SoCal or wherever the hell you are. So let's check this out. So the Atomic Teasers come in packages like this right here. These are Atomic Teasers. They come in a pack of three. They weigh, actually shows over here, 1 32nd of an ounce, 0 0.088 grams. The Power Bait Atomic Teasers, pack of three. These are, I believe, about three to four bucks at your local Walmart. Every time I go there, I always grab one or two packs, throw it in the cart, you know. You never know when you're gonna use them or need them. I mean, guys use these in the bay too. But we're not talking about that. We'll, that'll be in another video. But mini jigs, atomic teasers, get them while you can. And for power bait power worms, this is the packaging for them right here. I got the white, fluorescent orange, orange peel. I grabbed these a while ago and it's always good to have back stock. You never know you run out of them quick like that. Like I said, the bite's hot, you wanna have back stock back up and it's better to have more because you're out to be safe than sorry. If the bite's hot for orange and you only have two strands left of power worm and you lose them both, sucks to be you. It sucks to suck. But this is the packaging right here. I believe these are also three to four bucks, maybe five, but they're definitely worth it if you want to get onto some rainbow trout, hook, jaw, whatever the hell they stock out here. Trout magnets. This is the packaging for them right here. Two dollars a pack. I think $1.96. It comes with one six unrigged plastics one rig plastic with a 164 ounce lead head and an extra you know jig head right there for you guys to use this is the white green star truce water bobbin i've only caught one trout using the water bobber i still don't understand how to use them apparently you fill these guys up with water cast the sucker out with a power bait power worm whatever the hell you got on your end of the line fill it up with water lock it up cast it out apparently it's supposed to slow sink you know make your bait look natural or it's supposed to flow it helps you cast further i don't know I, I just cast that sucker and i caught a fish but i didn't watch how to you know the water bobs work but from what i was told they help your bait sink a lot slower thomas buoyants come in packs like this I believe these are five bucks a piece this is the rainbow trout pattern get them at walmart these other worms that I haven't used yet, but I grabbed two packs, the Lip Rippers. I hear very, very, very good things about these guys or this brand, they catch fish. So I don't know anything about them. Lip Rippers, the fish will find you, variety pack. These are 10 bucks each, come in three different colors. I'm not sure how many in a bag, I think 10 in a bag. Let me count, two, four, six, 12 in a bag or 12 in a pack right here. So that's 12, 24, 36, it's 36 baits in here you got 36 chances to catch some trout it's probably same thing with this guy two four six yeah 12 so yeah there you go 36 baits for 10 bucks or 36 worms for 10 bucks also at walmart moving over to dough bait power bait pot ski however you pronounce it i have just basic colors that everyone always freaking uses see there you go look at that i always have back stock of water barbers Random, really. I don't even know why they're in there. So I got Potski. This is Rainbow Mountain Wildfire. Haven't used them yet. I got the Sartreuse Power Bait Extra Scent, Power Bait Trout Bait. This is Original Scent Spring Green. We got the OG Rainbow right here, 42% stronger. I don't know anything about that, but ooh, Turbo Dough makes you cast faster. 
Rainbow, as you can see, I use this the most. This is what a lot of people use here. The rainbow color seems to get bit a lot. Then you got Rainbow Candy by Gulp. Gulp, Trout, outfishes all other bait. You know what? That still has not been proven. It does catch fish. So that's my power bait, dull bait. Let's put, yeah, you know what? Let's put all this back in here. Bam. GoPro box. Use it for whatever you saw in there. Then last but not least, bobbers. Variety of different sizes of bobbers. Bobbers are cheap. You can get them any tackle shop, any sports store, Big Five, Dick's, Walmart. Target might even have it. Maybe. Yeah, they probably do. But I got different sizes depending on how what I feel like using. I also got these foam ones. My buddy Anthony told me to get some foam bobbers. I guess you can ID your line a lot further. I just I just use it for a bite indication. Or you can use them for mini jigging. Instead of a you know split shot or Carolina rig, I would have this on my main line. Obviously your leader end, that's also your main line. Go out about four to five to six feet and throw a mini jig on there, worm, power bait dough, all kinds of stuff on there. Cast the sucker out and it'll keep your bait afloat. And you can just boop, watch it sink. Like bam, 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 gone. It's good to have a variety of different size bobbers in your bag. So I hope this video helps out for you beginners out there or beginners like myself. Like I said, I'm still picking up on the game has been too long. Also to mention to you guys, if you guys want any of these tackle or not for me, but if you guys want to know where you can get these, you can get these at any tackle shop. And also the line I use is Iser line, two pound test or maxima two pound test, sometimes four. All right, enough of this talking. I'm gonna let you guys go on with your day. So thanks a lot for watching guys. As always, good fishing and peace out.